and it's spring? Jeez. Yeah, she's <laughs> I am, I'm the new one. What's it like under the bed? What's it like being a spy? Today's date is actually a very special one because it's the leap day. It is, February 29th. And it's spring? Yes. I guess. Spring showed up earlier than ever, but as a native New Englander, you didn't buy it for a minute. And one fine eve, Allie and I went to check out Noah and Kaylee's new studio they had acquired since they moved back home from Georgia. And it's 33. Like... And for a moment, it made me miss having an office in town. And Allie and I kept up with our walks and caught some golden beauty in the local forests. What in tarnation? How in the world? And I looked at that ancient river longingly, daydreaming of low tide and throwing a dry fly in the riffle. And she goes back to the doctor. She has one in the other ear now. I have a goal to spend more time on the water this year than ever before. More breaks from work. More time with the river. What you looking for? And one day I stopped by John's, where he was redoing his parents' roof. You got a permit for this? What's going on? <laughs> You're not the building inspector, are you? I am. I'm the new one. <laughs> and I checked out the roof he did on his dad's old red house. And we talked about how he's got a bunch of jobs he could use help on this year. And I explained how I'd love to help more than anything. But deep down, I knew that I had to take care of my property first and foremost. No way. 
No way. Jeez. It's like the second or third day in March. Usually this doesn't happen until April. Well, now that all the snow is really melted, this is, <laughs> this is out of control. I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what to do now. Like, I, I guess that it technically has to come out or else this is just gonna happen every year, but I'm gonna be replacing a lot of material here, which whatever, I want it to be right. I don't want this to keep happening. I haven't painted much since I was a kid. I used to sketch all the time. One of my favorite things to sketch was stone walls and maple trees. <laughs> I've never really done much oil painting, but I've always wanted to. We always had this oil painting in my house growing up that was really beautiful. I always wanted to be able to do that, but I've never really tried. And so you gotta start somewhere. Cheap canvas, cheap brushes, cheap oil paints. I also forgot that it takes so long to dry. It's kind of cool and it's a good metaphor for slowing down and really taking your time with a piece of art. It's a fun thing to have in the background. Like with my video work, it's my job and I have to do really good, but it's good to have outlets where you don't need to depend on it. I've been having really vivid dreams lately and just getting good deep sleep. And it's part of the reason why I've had so much more energy to start taking on these new creative ventures such as writing a lot more and painting. And when I wake up feeling refreshed, all the endless projects we have around the house and all the work I have to do doesn't seem so daunting. And a lot of that is thanks to Beam Dream Powder. I've told you about this stuff before. Beam is the sponsor of today's video. Dream is essentially a nighttime hot cocoa, but it's jam-packed with natural ingredients that promote better sleep. And unlike other sleep aids, it's not just one ingredient. This particular blend right here, this is the sea salt caramel. This has five major ingredients. Each one promotes a different stage of the sleep cycle. So it not only helps you fall asleep fast, it helps you stay asleep all through the night, and most importantly, wake up with no grogginess. Also, it tastes delicious. There's so many different flavors. You should check out their website. They've got a bunch of different varieties. They have ones with CBD, ones without. All of them have zero sugar, and they're only about 15 calories per serving. I've battled with sleep for a long time, especially this time of year when the earth starts waking up. And I mean, we have so many projects. It's a lot to coordinate. It's a lot to think about. and. I just lie in bed thinking about it all and it's so hard to shut off. I started drinking Dream in August of last year and it's never let me down. There's a lot of people in my life, friends and family that also struggle with sleep and I've turned them all on to Beam. And if you struggle with sleep at all, you have to at least give it a try. It could change your life. Beam's Dream is clinically shown to improve sleep. So hit the link below or scan the QR code and use code Trout and Coffee to get up to 35% off. Thank you to Beam for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support this channel. And now back to the story. All right, so if you've been following my videos for a while, you know I've had shoulder pain on and off through the years. I've done a lot of different things to try and correct it, like an impingement. I've had it on both shoulders, but lately I've been doing this thing I saw on YouTube, actually. There's a guy called Ryan something. He's a fitness channel. He showed this shoulder exercise and I've been doing it pretty consistently with really good results. So it's best with a form of TRX bands. I got these on Amazon. I don't think they're that much. Position them either above your head or some like a, around a column. And essentially, so you do a face pull up around eye level. Then you externally rotate your shoulders behind you like this. So now it's all rotator cuff. And then you do some reps in this position. So what you're basically doing is engaging the rotator cuffs, everything in the back of the shoulder girdle that stabilizes, and then you're repping 
with them engaged. The other main exercise that has really helped my shoulder and just life in general, your back, all your muscles is hanging. I always have had a pull-up bar in every space I've ever had. I think it's such a good thing to do, especially when you work at the computer or sit down at a desk. It's really good to be able to get up every few minutes even and just hang for a little bit. I hang for 30 seconds at a time as many times as I can throughout the day. You will be happy you did. And the way I do it, keep your head back. You don't want your head forward through your arms like this. You want your spine neutral. This is super good for your forearms too. You're gonna build really good grip strength. Try and hang every single day. I know I'll be doing it my whole life. Well, the basement's a mess, of course, but uh, even just moving a few things out of here is gonna be a relief, make it easier to walk. And this setup is just so nice. We can just open the doors. And back in the inflatable garage, we were starting to make way for basement renovations. It might not look like much, but cleared out a good amount. And I figure if we can do this a couple times a week, come down here and go through stuff for half hour or so, then maybe by spring, it'll be cleared out. Ever get that pain and I got it in my lower left back, but it can be on either side. What's it called? Like the quad, oh, quadratic lamborum or something. It's an ab muscle, but it's way in the back of your abs. It's like in the middle of your body, so it's really hard to reach. And mine has just been so sore lately. So I'm, I'm rolling on a ball right now, trying to loosen it up. Oh my God, it's so painful. And we had a St. Patty's dinner with Noah and Kaylee before Allie and I headed south through a March squall to see her grandparents for our one true vacation of the year. And we rode the train, reading and writing for 36 hours. And I treated myself to a fast car, and we drove from Tampa to Key West, where Allie had been visiting her whole life, but I had never been. And we had a trip for the storybooks. And just like the day we left, it snowed the day we returned. Except shortly after, the snow turned to rain and the ice started forming. These are kind of rare conditions. We haven't really had a storm like this all, all year. Where it's actively raining, but the, it's cold enough that it freezes. It just bends all the trees, especially the pines and the hemlocks. I really just want spring. Well, we just lost power using a power bank <laughs> to power my computer and then using a hotspot on my phone because I'm trying to upload a video for tomorrow morning. This is nuts. This is the first time I've ever really lost power here. We need to get a transfer switch and some backup power. It's no easy thing living in the countryside. And while the ice was destructive, the next morning was set to be clear and sunny creating rare and beautiful conditions. And even though we had barely unpacked from our trip, I woke before the sun to study the crystal forests. And there was something about the blue of this morning that will stick with me forever.
and as the day warmed up, I figured we wouldn't have long before the ice melted, and so I spent as much time outside as I could. Sun's starting to melt everything. worked on the wood together, and then I finished assembling my painting table out of the old barn wood that I had shaped up a few weeks before. Back when we first harvested the wood, it was snowy. I wasn't really thinking. Just wanted to put it someplace easy. But where this wall of wood is, is gonna be a road coming in here. And I'm gonna build a pole barn back over here. And this is gonna be a utility area, in a sense. One of the first orders of business, once it dries out, which who knows when that's gonna be, is to fix the driveway, redo the entire driveway. I've got a parking area down there that I want to build out. And then I've got this whole stretch in here. And then the little area over there by the shed where the tractor's parked. We're going to need a ton of material. And I want to be able to do it all at once. While I'm waiting for it to dry up, I figure I can clear the driveway up. So basically, I'm going to move all this wood and stack it right here. And this is going to be my wood area. And then I'm going to clean up the sides of the driveway. There's tons of down trees and stuff because I have to dig good drainage. I've got a ton of cleanup before I can even consider starting to fix the driveway. Before I can move that wood, I'm going to clear this area out and try and make an organized, nice little wood pile. Here's the start. Let's get it cleared up. So beautiful right now in the golden light. There's still ice left. It started melting and dropping from the trees. The sun's setting behind me and that section of the forest is just 
rosy glass. Pretty beautiful. That's the thing about it when it's cold and then it turns to mush, it just freezes things up. Well, I could sit here. I don't even see where it's stuck. <sighs> Honestly, it's gonna be easier to wait for a warm day than try and do it now. The tracks were frozen solid on the excavator, and so I drove down the mountain to pick us up some dinner and passed through some more beautiful conditions. Cinnamon raisin bread. Never done it. Always wanted to. Sandwich bread style. Uh, sourdough, of course. And uh, see how she goes. Let's start it. Start it with the starter. Not All right. Thirty minutes of rest, and then we're gonna add butter. and I added a drawer and a lamp to the barn wood writing desk that I had made a couple weeks earlier. <laughs> that is cool. at old photos from childhood for inspiration on the story I was writing. And I couldn't wait to show John the one of him and I on the beehive. the ice melted and the earth warmed a bit. Allie and I worked together to scoop out as much of the slop as we could. spring, there was no telling what April might bring. Oh. <laughs> what? Man. It has an actual swirl in it? 